Move to the single speed motor examples on the table. Grab the mech. Turn on the mech. Test the first single speed motor. Test the U1 and U2 terminals. Test the V1 and V2 terminals. Test the W1 and W2 terminals. Test the second single speed motor. Test the U1 and U2 terminals. Test the V1 and V2. Test the W1 and W2. Test the first two speed motor. Test the V1 terminal with the U1 terminal. Test the W1 terminal with the V1 terminal. Test the W1 terminal with the U1 terminal. Test the V2 terminal with the U2 terminal. Test the W2 terminal with the V2 terminal. Test the W2 terminal with the U2 terminal. Test the second two speed motor. Test the V1 terminal with the U1 terminal. Test the W1 terminal with the V1 terminal. Test the W1 terminal with the U1 terminal. Test the V2 terminal with the U2 terminal. Test the W2 terminal with the V2 terminal. Test the W2 terminal with the U2 terminal. There are warning codes on one of the turbines. Move to the computer. Click on the monitor to check the warning method. The turbine has a 519 warning and 506 warning. Head to the turbine. Move to the back of the breaker cabinet. Read and confirm the wiring diagram. Open the breaker. Grab the multimeter. Turn on the multimeter by turning the dial. You now need to perform a hot-cold hot test on the breaker. You test the cold side of the breaker. Using the multimeter, test the hot side. Lock out the breaker. Move to the generator fan motor. Remove the front plate screws on the generator fan motor using your screwdriver. Open the cabinet opposite the motor. You will perform a hot-cold hot test to make sure the generator fan motor is not powered. Grab the multimeter on your tool belt and attach it. Test the terminals on the breaker panel.
Test the V1 and U1 terminals. Test the dub. Test the V2 and U2 terminals. Test the dub. Test the terminals on the breaker panel. Grab the mega from your tool belt and attach it near the generator fan motor. Attach the mega's negative lead to ground on the fan motor. Test the U2 terminal using the positive lead. Test the V2 terminal. Test the W2 terminal. Test the W1. Remove the nuts holding down the terminal wires using the ratchet. Remove the wires. Using the ratchet, unbolt the motor from the generator. Remove the motor and place it on the ground. Place the replacement motor in position on the generator. Roll the replacement motor to the generator using a cross pattern. Attach the wires to the terminals. Install the nuts on the terminals using the ratchet. Screw in the front plate using the screwdriver. Move to the breaker cabinet. Remove the lock. Close the breaker. Move to the front of the cabinet. Clip the tools and test button on the A. Click the load button on fan 1 to test the load. As you can hear, the motor has successfully started running in the low setting. Click the stop button in fan 1 to stop the test. Click the high button. The motor has successfully started running in the low setting. successfully replace the generator fan motor.